Welcome to a new series. Uh, this is Games from the Archive where we'll be diving into our website to see what games you love from the past and what we love from the past and just showing you through the website here there's various ways you can get to games. You can go through the um, category area, you can obviously go through the arcade area if you're looking for that but the quickest way is literally to type in the game. Now obviously not every game in the world is going to be there but Gauntlet is what we're starting with here today. This is a 1985 classic, it really does bring back childhood memories. You can see here, just flicking through the actual page of the site, um, you've got various images, you've got videos, and also some gameplay there videos, which uh, you know really bring back the memories of the game. So showing some actual play there, you've got the uh, cool, fast gameplay of Gauntlet. Obviously this was more of a four-player game if you could get it going, and effectively if you had three other mates playing this, you could probably have one of the best arcade experiences out there. There are other four player arcade experiences that are pretty good, but this game really does bring back memories of uh, playing with mates in the arcade. The other cool thing was the trailers, and I'll leave you this little trailer of Gauntlet, an arcade trailer, can you believe, at the time. The new fantasy adventure from Atari Games. The most fun a quarter can buy. In the early 80s, Dungeons and Dragons was a huge part of life for many gamers. You might call them hardcore gamers today, uh, as both role playing and even video games play was a, a certain breed and a certain animal out there. It was, definitely wasn't the mainstream. Arcades were hugely popular, uh, certainly in the 80s and even in the 70s, but it wasn't the mass market. This was long before the days of Wii U, iPad, even PlayStation and Game Boy, I suppose, if you're talking about popular gaming, uh, certainly smartphone games. Video games and Dungeons and Dragons lived with a sector of people who were really passionate and dearly cared about the subject of gaming. Back then, Atari was a brand that was commercially successful, it had a few bumps, but also it cared about uh, the gamers who cared for these things. So, the combination of video games and, I guess, Dungeons and Dragons, certainly role-playing, other influences, not just D&D, were about to come together in a game called Gauntlet. Now, this was an amazing game back in 1985. Here, you could not only play with four different characters influenced by the world of role-playing games, you could actually play four players at a time. These could be your friends, but often you'd be in the arcade and a gamer would just come up, side up with you and play with you. Now, that is really, to use a cliche term, what we call social gaming. Imagine that, you're out there in the real world now in 2017, and playing a game, somebody actually comes up next to you now. That happens at events. I'm not sure it happens in a game store so much, um, but it certainly happened then. And certainly, if you were playing four player with four other people you didn't know, it didn't matter a difference because you're all striving for the same thing. The game was all about collaboration as a four player set. Um, one player was pretty hard as the bad guys came at you from every angle, from ghosts to demons, and obviously my favourite, the fateful death. That sound of when he came in was just amazing. You had to eat the food, not shoot the food, and save the keys as opening doors was critical. The game also contained the use of digitised speech, which became obviously a lot more prevalent uh, in the mid 80s, certainly across all arcade games, then hitting into Warrior, computer like and Warrior. console games. It was very groundbreaking at the time to hear speech in the arcade, and obviously, Gauntlet was a pioneer in that. So, just finally, phrases such as elf needs food badly, treasure 100 points, and the classic save keys to open doors really got etched into our gaming brains. I hope you enjoyed this first show, video from Games from the Archive. Hope to bring you more over the coming weeks and make this a regular thing. Also, 
uh, we'd encourage you to tell us what games you'd like to cover. So do a search on the site, have a look for any computer, arcade, console games that you would like to see and we'll try and cover them if you put those games in the description below. Now if the games aren't in there and obviously we haven't got every game in the site please do send us a review, we'll publish a review, credit it and obviously put it on the site and put it across our social channels. So um, thanks for watching and happy gaming guys. Thank you.